Lanamore here. I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be my top, hold on, I'm gonna fix my ears. My top Christmas movies is gonna be my top 10. Now keep in mind, I still, there's still movies that have came out that I wanna watch, but these are the ones I've already seen that I do love and that I recommend that you watch them, okay? Cause yeah, they're good. Some of these movies, I'll be honest with you, I'm a crybaby, so I probably have cried on them. So yeah, it feels like an echo because it's like really quiet. So I feel like I'm screaming, but let's go ahead and get started with my top 10 Christmas movies. Yeah. I'll probably insert the movie like picture like right here as I talk about each movie. So the coming in my top 10 spot for my top 10 Christmas movies is going to be Last Holiday. That is with Queen Latifah. The movie is like when she finds out, well, she thinks she finds out she has like a brain tumor, I believe. And she has like a certain amount of time to live. But at the end, there was nothing wrong with her. I'm not going to say the whole movie, but like if you've heard of it, you probably get the just a little synopsis of it. But yeah, it was a cool, funny movie. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend that. Next movie is, coming in the ninth spot is A Medea Christmas. That movie is hilarious. Um, if you love biracial love, I think you'll love that movie about a family. Some people can actually probably relate to it. So it's like her mom comes, just kind of spurs on the moment on her, kind of just pops up on her <laughs> to spend the holidays with her. And yeah, it's really funny. Like I said, I want to tell the movies. <laughs> I just want to like, just it's a movie I can watch over and over. Most of these movies on this list, most likely I've watched them more than once. One of them I actually just watched and I was like surprised. I loved it the first time I watched it. Coming in at the number eight spot is of course the classics, Home Alone, the whole Home Alone collection. Um, probably the ones with um, Macaulay Cul Culkin. I can't remember. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm sorry, but the classic ones. Because I know there's more that came out after the fact, but the classics, the one where he terrorized the burglars when they were trying to come into his house, like literally the classics. Nothing else more than that. He literally is home alone, gets left behind while the parents are going through. So yeah, definitely that one. The next one. Um, it's the holiday calendar. It's like um, it's on Netflix. It's with Kat Graham and Quincy um, Quincy Brown. So basically, the movie is like where she gets a calendar, advent calendar, and literally she gets whatever the calendar is. It's like it predicts her day each day. Like literally, one of the days she was supposed to get some boots and. It showed a pair of shoes and she ended up getting a pair of boots or something like that. It's a really cute movie and yes, I cried on that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> that just tells you, <laughs> yeah, it was good. I did definitely cry and I watched that movie probably like either twice or th two or three times. So yeah, I like it. The next movie is Almost Christmas. It has a really great, it's a black family type movie. Um, it has Monique in it, it has, um, oh, I can't remember all the people in there right now. I remember DC McFly's in it. It's really funny. If you like comedies, I feel like you'll love it. It's that family movie that you definitely want to chill on the couch with your fam with and watch it. Um, it was like the mom passed away. Uh, I this sounds sad. <laughs> and like the family got together and of course there was drama and then in the end I remember this. They ended up working things out. I haven't seen that movie in a minute though. So I know the concept, but I can't, I'm just, like I said, I'm trying not to tell you guys the movie because I want you to watch it. <laughs> so yeah, um, you can always look up the trailers to these movies too on YouTube that I'm recommending because I will have the list down below in the description box. So like if you're, if something sounds interesting that you might want to check out, definitely check out the trailers. I would be nice enough to link the trailers to the video, but I don't know if I'm going to be that. I don't know if I want to be that, you know, I don't know if I want to do that much work. <laughs> so yeah, the next one coming in at the top 
five spot is the Santa Claus collection. Yo, this actually should have been closer to the top of the list because this is one movie that I would have on repeat regardless. <laughs> so it should have been probably the number third or the probably the second, but whatever. It's definitely the Santa Claus collection. My favorite one is probably, ooh, that's hard. I love the classic one. I love, part two is probably my favorite. Like I love the first one and the third one, they're cool, but part two is probably my favorite because that's when like the second one they made, like they tried to make a, a another a clone of Santa, like just like <laughs> so they can still have Christmas with the Santa and it start turning out evil. It was so funny. Like it sounds crazy the way I'm describing it, but like, Part two is probably like my favorite. That's one I probably watched more than once compared to the other two. Um, the next one is coming in at the top four spot. It's recently, I recently watched it the other night, y'all. This movie had me in tears. It's on Netflix. It is The Christmas Chronicles. Okay, The Christmas Chronicles with um, Goldie Hawn and her I think his name is Kurt. I can't think of his last name, but of course I'm gonna put the movies here. Both parts, I just recently seen both of them. I love that movie. I literally cried, because I'm a simp. <laughs> but yes, I love that movie, and yes, it definitely deserved to be on this list, even though I only saw it once. I will watch it again. I can see myself watching it every holiday season, turning it on. Yes, it's one of those go-to movies. Check it out. Next movie is coming out of the number three spot is The Best Man Holiday. I love that movie. I think my favorite part in the movie, honestly, is when they have the little dance off kind of, they kind of battle each other out. That movie definitely made me cry. Okay, any movie that makes me cry is a good movie, I just feel. It, it just is, it made me cry, it's really sad. It's basically the sequel kind of to The Best Man. If you've seen The Best Man, um, Obviously, it came out years ago, <laughs> so if you didn't see it, you might want to see that first and then see this one because, of course, it's reoccurring returning characters um, that were in the first one. So it's basically like the sequel, but just a Christmas edition, kind of them all reuniting and stuff. It's a really good movie. Definitely check it out and have a box of Kleenex nearby. Okay, my next movie is a classic. If you don't like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, then you must be on another planet. That movie is a classic. I love um, the uh, animated version. The one I first saw was the one on the VHS. Please don't judge me. Yes, I am that old. Um, the first one I watched was on VHS. And of course, throughout the years, they've made more. They made a live action one. I believe it's Jim Carrey that's in it. Um, I've seen that one. And then I've seen the recent one that was like maybe two years ago called just The Grinch. And it's like more of an animated, like an updated animated version of it. So yeah, if you don't love the classic Grinch story, then I don't know what you're sleeping on. So yeah. And then my top number one movie that's coming into this number one spot, of course, is This Christmas. Like, that is a classic. Like, I promise, This Christmas is probably one movie that I can probably watch when it's not Christmas. Like, all these other movies, I, I'm not saying they're not good enough to watch during, like, not during the holidays, but I found myself watching This Christmas when it wasn't Christmas time. <laughs> it's like my favorite classic Christmas family movie. Of course, it has Chris Brown, Idris Elba, Lauren London. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna come at y'all from this angle to end the video. The video cut off when I was talking about the last movie, which was This Christmas is my favorite. Number one spot, number one movie. So without further ado, like I said, um, if you like any of these picks I mentioned, I will leave them down below in the description box and I might even put the trailers to each movie just so you can kind of get a synopsis, kind of sneak peek of each movie before you actually check them out. So this is going to be considered Vlogmas Day 2. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys like my little ears. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like Alana. I'm not Rudolph, not today. I don't got no bumps on my nose. You can call me Vixen. I don't know, but yeah, I will see y'all all tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 3.
okay day three toodles to my sunshine squad bye